Hi dear students I am father Sajee Lukos the principal of Don Bosco High Secondary School Difu Many occasions through messages I have already welcomed you to our Don Bosco school but today with this small video once again I would like to welcome all of you to Don Bosco High Secondary School Difu This is your home away from your home I already communicated to you that we will be starting our online classes from next monday every year before starting the first year classes we used to have a day of orientation program last year as well as this year we could not conduct this orientation program because of the pandemic but we thought we will do some kind of an a video orientation program this year So this video program I myself wanted to introduce myself to you and sister will be introducing herself to you and all the faculty members they will give a brief introduction of themselves and also they will brief you about the course you are going to do in Don Bosco school I would like to leave a very very small message with you today I would like to give the definition of madness you might have seen some mad people going around i would like to give the definition of madness it is said that madness is this doing same things and expecting different result is called madness i repeat doing same thing and you expecting greater result is called madness i will explain you this fact a little further now you have come and joined in a don bosco school and if you wanted to do the same things you were doing from class 1 to class 10 and expecting greater result greater achievement in your career it will be madness what do you have to do you have to do different things different things with commitment different things with the dedication then you will reach up to the highest point of your success we all of us are here to to help you to do this to do things differently not same way we you are doing it in the past you need to be dedicated you may should be committed to do things differently definitely you are going to reach the height the pinnacle of your uh, success many messages i have given you one particular sentence your journey to a great future begins here exactly it is true you have a lot of dreams but those dreams the real step starts now the high secondary level is the the first step towards your career and it it begins here unless until you decide to do things differently give your full hearted dedication and commitment you are not going to reach that particular goal dear students we all of us are here with you all what you need is that that particular dedication that commitment that decision that i am going to do things differently so that i may able to reach the height of success in my life i wish you all the best may god bless you continue to be with you and help you to reach the pinnacle of success in your life may god bless you all warm greetings dear students and parents i am miss polina assistant teacher in english and i'm here to express a few thoughts and wish to share some piece of advice and suggestions with you dear students and parents first of all i would like to congratulate you all first on passing your 10th examination successfully and second on securing your seat here in dombosco dear students we are very much delighted to have each one of you as a member of dombosco higher secondary school tifu and i am confident that you feel proud on being associated with us and believe that you will make us equally proud with your academic excellence having said that 
There may be some students who might be feeling dejected even after securing your seat here and for some may still be daunting to adapt to this new mode of instruction because this pandemic has brought new challenges in learning with the transition from regular on-campus learning to online mode of instruction. I'm prompted to use one of my favorite quotes, bloom where you're planted. This quote means that a person should take advantage of the opportunity he has in his life and be grateful for the present situation. Dear students, you will have abandoned opportunity to flourish as a student and as a person here. But if you are unhappy with where you are planted, negativity can consume your thoughts. So, remain upbeat and be positive about the situation and try to make conscious effort to focus on your studies and make the best use of this period with your academic excellence. As the saying goes, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. I would like to reassert that you are very fortunate to have this opportunity to study here in Don Bosco, but with opportunity comes responsibility. We all know that discipline for students is very important, without which one cannot be well educated. Rules and regulation is very important to maintain discipline in every educational institutions and our school is no exception. Discipline is paramount in Don Bosco and students must acquaint themselves with rules and regulations and certain code of behavior that the school has constituted. For general instructions, you can refer to page 20 to 23 of your school calendar. Any form of misconduct with a school authority and the staff might call for serious repercussions. Students must also refrain themselves from posting or sharing derogatory content on social media. Disciplinary actions will be taken against the students indulging in such activities that includes passing filthy. Dear students, be disciplined and responsible. Take responsibility for your learning. You are responsible for what you do and learn. You are accountable to yourself. Make sure you attend all virtual classes, do assignments on time, read study materials provided to you, and also ensure that you make enough time for self-study. Self-study is a very important and valuable way to learn. The teachers are always there as navigators to guide you, but self-study helps you to get the most out of your learning experience. So do more self-study and be a confident learner. Many of us are guilty of delaying tasks and putting important work till tomorrow. This is essentially procrastination. Procrastination is a very common habit among students and people in general. So do not procrastinate like delay in writing assignments till the last possible hour or perhaps study for exam only a day before. The key to eliminate procrastination is everyday preparation and to have a study plan. Having a study plan allows you to see how you spend your time and ensures that you are setting aside enough time outside of class to complete assignment or study for tests. I would like to suggest to you dear parents to be there with your word. When I say to be there, I mean to say that you actively involve in your words learning journey through this transition. It is very important to provide an environment conducive to learning, not only in school, but at home. Have an eye on your words, activity and performance.
With this I conclude. Thank you so much for your attention. Have a great time in Don Bosco Tifu. Dear students of 11 Commerce, I would like to welcome all of you to the Don Bosco family. My name is Ms. Rukmalin Tiron P and I will be teaching you banking in class 11 and business studies in class 12. Now I would like to start off by talking or sharing a few things about commerce. As the name suggests, commerce includes objects which are related to trade, finance, communication, interactions, economy, trend, etc. and various reforms divided into various subjects having its own importance. Now let me walk you through the subjects that this stream has to offer. There are about five subjects a student has to learn so as to get a perfect knowledge about the stream. The core subjects are accountancy, business studies and economics. They are being the core and important subjects for any commerce stream. Language includes English and MIL as a compulsory language, optional if any, but in Don Bosco, banking or maths is given as an option. Now let us take a peep into the subjects. Number one, accountancy. In accountancy, you will learn the art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions and events which are financial in character and the interpretation of the results of these transactions and events, also the reason for the successes and failures of various businesses. Number two, economics. In economics, you will learn reasoning, statistics, data, analysis, and theories which have been increasingly applied in the recent era to not only the study of economists but also social situations with or without monetary consideration such as politics, standard of living, trade, law, psychology, GDP, financial and infrastructural growth and development and other social interactions. In business studies, we will gain knowledge of business activities which affect the daily lives of all people in a society. It also influences creation of employment, incomes, opportunities for personal enterprise, standard of living of all individuals and helps one to understand how business activities influence the society and the economy directly. Number four, English. Now, English is an important language of interaction and communication with various countries for the purpose of international Treat. This subject includes wide range of topics covered in grammar like tenses, articles, passive voice, direct and indirect speech, adverbs, nouns, prepositions, etc. The literature part includes the uh, includes various questions and answers asked from the various topics offered under that section. Now, English proficiency is important not only in reading but also writing and speaking. Thus, reading comprehensions and stories, writing various formal and informal letters, letters essay writing, report writing, business letter, resume and bio writing etc. are included. In banking, we learn about different banks, their functions, and roles of financial institution in the economy, the conduct of monetary policy, and the functioning of federal reserves. Mathematics, or as familiarly known as maths, is basically a play with numbers, alphabets, and data. Maths might appear difficult to some and be the favorite of the rest. This subject includes various theorems, formulas, graphs, data, combination, logistic and derivations of different mathematicians and their theory and use of these concepts. This subject is divided under different hats like sets and functions, geometry, algebra, statistics, probability, calculus, and mathematical reasoning. Now, as we all know that schools and colleges are closed at the moment, 
I will be uploading pre-recorded lectures in the form of audios and videos and assigned you with various assignments and projects through the WhatsApp group. As Albert Einstein said, in the middle of difficulties lies opportunity. Let's turn this pandemic period into an opportunity, a step towards success through this form of learning. Let's cooperate with each other and learn from each other. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Anjali Sharma and I teach biology in higher secondary classes. Firstly, a big congratulations to all of you and I welcome you all in this online orientation program. So I'm glad that I could interact with you all through this medium and I can talk on students life and their confusion regarding career choosing after 10 plus 2. Dear children, this two years, that is your first year and second year, is a milestone in a student's life. It is a time where you start thinking about the possible occupation you could pursue. Generally, students wonder what to do, what to choose after 10 plus 2. So many of you are still confused, right? So I am taking this opportunity to discuss some ideas on this topic. I hope that this will be helpful for you. So the question is what to do after 12th, after 10 plus 2. So I would say plan your career. There are lots of options and opportunities uh, available and they are equally good and compete with each other. And I believe that a student or anyone should choose their career based on their academics, their personality and their skills and not on what others tells you to choose for your career that won't help you before you plan there are three things which you must do number one know yourselves know your interest know your value know your skill know your assets this will help you to make the things happen this will help you to things work out after this make a choice set a goal in your life which is very important. Once you have a goal in your life, develop a plan for your goal. Make the strategies in your life, how to achieve your goal. Once you make a choice, what you want to do in your life, what you want to become in your life, then make it happen. Make it happen. You put your work into action. You make sure that no matter what, you can do it. Yes, believe in yourself, you can do it. Hello, my dear students. We all are delighted that you all have chosen to spend the next two years in Domosco High Secondary School. And my name is Bobby Langthasa and I will be teaching you economics. So see you soon in the online class. Thank you. Hello, dear students. My name is Mugoras Nath and I will be teaching you accountancy. And I would like to welcome you all to this prestigious institutions and hope you will have a very good time in the next two years. Thank you. Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Don Bosco High Secondary School. And my name is Miss Soni Gupta and I will be teaching business studies in first year commerce. And I would like to extend my warmest wishes to you all on the beginning of new academic year. And this year we are going to have a fabulous year of learning and I am so excited to be teaching you all. And welcome back again to Don Bosco family. Thank you. Hello students, welcome to Don Bosco Higher Secondary School. I am Sir Ritesh. I am going to teach you banking. Hello everybody. I hope you all are fit and fine. I, on behalf of HS staff, warmly welcome you all to Don Bosco family. This is Ms. Eunice Seberingma, your OT English teacher, and we look forward to teaching you and make sure you have an enjoyable and successful year. Welcome to our classroom, and I am your English teacher. I will be teaching you English 
where the magic never stops and the adventure never ends. My English classes will be full of adventure, fun and enjoyment where you will learn all and so or also you will learn how to love the life, how to have fun, how to have enjoyment. My classes will be entertainment, my classes will be resourceful and my classes will be full of enjoyment. So here you will know what is magic, you will also know how English can bring joy to us. So there will be an adventure that will never end. Hello everyone, my name is Hunmelan Timumpi and I teach general English in the higher secondary section. I welcome you all to Don Bosco Higher Secondary School for the session 2021-22. So general English uh, consists of two books. One is the textbook that is Hornbill and the other is Snapshots that is the supplementary. Along with these two textbooks uh, we have some grammar topics to deal with that is prescribed in your syllabus. Hope in due course we get along each other. Wishing you all the very best for the new venture of your life. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.